Hey, so in today's video, I'm looking a bit like Cynthia from the Rugrats, like what is happening here? We're gonna accept it and move on. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about indie brands that I want to try. Now I have been recently, the past year, really been loving indie brands and wanting to try more from them. The first indie brand I ever purchased from was Nabla Cosmetics. They're an Italian indie brand. They're basically the dose of colors of Europe, basically. I love indie brands because I just love the whole personal experience, kind of. Wait, would it be called personal? Yeah, actually. Um, I love the personal experience between, like, you know, the brand owner and the customer. They always, like, they put love into their products and they make products that I like. They make the type of makeup that I want to wear and I love. As you can see by my eyes today, um, do I look like I wear browns on a daily basis? No. <laughs> my makeup actually matches my shirt today. I thought I would do it because I felt like being a bit extra today. Also, I forgot to mention this, but I will be linking the brand's Instagram pages and their websites in the description down below. I list a lot of things in my description box, so make sure to check it out if you are interested in any of these brands because honestly, I want to share the love. I want to share the love. These brands deserve it. Indie brands deserve it. So let's get into the brands that I want to try finally. I've been waffling for too long. For some reason I keep stumbling over my words. I don't know what's happening with me today. I want to start off with a couple of brands that I actually, I'm technically cheating because I have purchased products from them and I have them in front of me now, but I really want to try more from them because even though I got a little taster, I just want to, I want more. I'm so passionate about them. The first one being Kaleidos Makeup. Is it Kaleidos Makeup or Kaleidos Cosmetics? They're called Kaleidos Makeup. I remember in the beginning they were called Kaleidos Cosmetics, but then they changed it to Kaleidos Makeup because Kaleidos Cosmetics, Kaleidos Cosmetics, it doesn't Big tongue twisty. But anyways, I actually purchased the Kaleidos Makeup uh, Futurism 5 Electro Turquoise Palette um, and I love this. This is actually limited edition along with the VR Neon one that they came out with and look, look at this. I have used it quite a few times since um, my products I've purchased in 2019 part two video. I'll link that video down below if you want to check it out. I actually have a live swatching of this. The packaging is literally ridiculous. <laughs> Let me know if you want a three looks one palette with this because I do want to actually review it, but I don't know if I should do it in a standalone video or not. We'll see. The color schemes that they come up with are beautiful. I'll put a picture of like a few of their palettes right now. This is actually my favorite color scheme that they've ever come out with. And I really hope they come out with more uh, palettes. Excuse me, I'm getting notifications. Why, why am I popular all of a sudden? No one's messaged me all day and all of a sudden, as soon as I film, you wanna talk to me. That's not happening, honey. That's not happening. I'm sorry, I had a moment. I do hope they come out with more palettes in this format. I know they probably are because this is, the Futurism collection is kind of like established now. And I really do like this formula. It's so good. I I really love this palette. I do have swatches on my beauty Instagram. It's Beauty by Sky, beauty with two Ys. Um, I'll put a picture right here, actually. I love this palette so much, and I really want to try more from them because they're just they're just so cool. They're a really cool brand and come out with cool concepts for makeup. I do love it. The next brand, which I actually do own some products from, is Davina. Now, this is a ColourPop magnetic palette. Sorry. Davina is kind of holding a special place in my heart right now. As you can see, all of these green shades uh, right here. I have a close-up picture of all of the shades on my beauty Instagram. I just stuck my finger in one of those. Sorry about that. But all of the green and brown shades in this palette are from Davina. And this was my first purchase from Davina. I really like their matte formula. I've only tried their matte formula, obviously, but I really do like it a lot. It's very soft, very powdery but they blend out very effortlessly, very pigmented. Also my favorite YouTuber, Angelica Nyquist. If you do not watch her, you're literally missing out on so much. She is amazing. She's an amazing like person and she's so creative with her makeup and her video ideas. You should really check her out. She actually did a collab with Davina, I'll put a picture right here, called the Moonwell Bundle. She picked out um, so her favorite eyeshadows from Davina and put them in a palette and she's been loving Davina for such a long time. I've actually found out about all of these brands through Angelica because she loves indie brands as well. It's World of Warcraft inspired and if you know me, you know that World of Warcraft is one of my favorite games of all time. Don't even at me, I'm, I'm fucking for the Alliance. For the Alliance, all the way. If you're hoard, literally leave. The door's right there. Hey, it's me, Editing Sky. I just want to say that um, I rambled on for literally two minutes about this, so I just deleted that clip just so I could say 
the context of this next clip is me reading out a comment from uh, Davina because I posted on their page saying how I wanted to purchase the Moonwell bundle but I couldn't just yet. So yeah, that's the context. Uh, let's get back to the video. I'm gonna go on their actual posts so I can quote them because for some reason my brain is literally working slower than normal today. So I actually commented on their post saying, I found your brand through Angelica and I haven't regretted it at all. I hope this will be avail available for a little while so I can support it. Because honestly, I really want this bundle so badly. Not only do I want it to support Angelica, but I love the colours that she picked out and I adore the inspiration. Like, the colour schemes that Angelica picks out is are incredible. Genuinely incredible. And they replied saying, no way, seriously, you did. That makes us so happy. Thank you so much for supporting us alongside Angelica. We really appreciate you for that. When you are ready for Moonwell and, and um, if you don't see it, just reach out to our email and we'll get one ready for you. Like... What kind, what great customer service, like what beautiful customer service, like genuinely, how many brands can you name that will, will literally tell you, if you don't see it in stock, just email us and we'll, email us and we'll try and get one ready for you. Like, how? How many brands? Tell me, tell me right here, right now, right here, right now, tell me, tell me, because I want to buy from those brands, I want to support brands that are like that. That was a bit too aggressive, I'm really sorry about that. So because of like them being so nice on sh social media, like I want to support them even more. And not only through the Angelica bundle, which I will be hopefully getting soon, I really want to buy it. I really want to buy it soon. Not only through that, but they have beautiful single shadows, like their Exploders collection. <sighs> Stunning, and I love single shadows, so... I hope to buy more from Davina in the future. Hopefully I'll get my hands on that Moonwell bundle. The next five brands are brands that I've never purchased from but I really want to. The first one being Sydney Grace. Now I always hear people talk about Sydney Grace and their shimmer quality, their metallic quality, like their formulas are really good and actually we're gonna do what we did in my last video. We're gonna do some research, shall we, on my uh, PC that's sitting right in front of me. I'm looking at their eyeshadow bundles and the Autumn's Rain bundle stunning like the no joke bundle which was their um you know how Tarte did the icy betch and it was a joke and then they came up with the actual product I like how they call it the no joke bundle the danny's dream bundle Ooh, that's cute i think the winter bundle is one that i might pick up maybe 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 but i definitely want to try out sydney grace's eyeshadows i only hear good things about them and i found out through about Sy sydney grace through georgia harris and also uh, LS, she talks about um, Sydney Grace quite a bit now. The next brand is Lethal Cosmetics. Found out about them last year from Angelica, as per usual. <laughs> they're a German indie brand, which I love when indie brands are located in Europe, which means they're in close proximity to me. But they have a bunch of single shadows. Again, most indie brands that I follow mainly create single shadows or eyeshadow palettes. They actually have a tool called um, the palette creator or build your own palette. I'm not too sure exactly what they call it, but you can drag the eyeshadows into the uh, palette and you get the eyeshadows in the palette plus the magnetic palette for a discounted price. When I buy from Luther Cosmetics, I'm going to buy my own little eyeshadow um, palette from them. I'm not going to buy a single, I'm going to invest in a whole palette and I want to show you guys the palette that I've actually created and it's this one. Now, I'm looking at it on my screen right now. I'm looking at it and it's just, this palette describes me. <laughs> it's literally, this palette is me. It's me. It's literally me in a palette. It's me in a palette. Do I have these eyeshadows already? Most likely. <laughs> Do I still really love this and adore it and I want it in my bag and in my eyeshadow collection right here? Because apparently I left my drawer open so I can just be distracted by beautiful eyeshadows. Yes. Yes, I really do love this, honestly, and I want to try out their formula. The next brand is Cleona Cosmetics. Now, I'm pretty sure Cleona is bla blazed, excuse me, is based in Canada from what I'm aware of. Let me double check their Instagram. Let's cross-reference, shall we? They are based in Toronto, Canada. They recently came out with their stained glass collection, which included so many. I'll link Angelica Neekfist's um, swatch party video down below where she swatches every single eyeshadow in this stained glass collection. It's filled literally with duochromes, multichromes, fucking iridescence. Like, it's so many. I'll put a few pictures up here. Literally, follow them on Instagram. 
their eyeshadows are genuine. I've, I've, they're so... I don't know how to describe them. They are literally gorgeous. Like, are you joking? I'm looking at them and they literally do look, look like stained glass. It's insane. Literally, I'm not worthy. I'm literally not worthy of this. I really hope I can buy from them one day. Although shipping from Canada to the UK is going to be... Probably a big dig to my wallet. I will definitely purchase from them when I'm able to because, I mean, come on. The next brand going along with the whole Cleona stained glass collection is JD Glow. JD Glow. Excuse me, tongue twister moment. I do apologize. JD Glow has their galaxy shadows and Hannah from Smoky Glow talks about them a lot and who else talks about them? I know a lot of people I follow talk about JD Glow. They're literally like ultra metallic with glitter in them and so many unique shades. I'll put some pictures obviously and they're just so stunning. Like I love metallic glittery eyeshadows. Like I love glitter. I'm wearing some glitter on my eyes today. I don't know if you can see. Probably can't because my glasses. They are a bit more pricey but to be fair to make eyeshadows that look like this they're gonna be more money to make. Like it's, it, I'm on, honestly, I'd rather literally like sell, sell my, sell my kidney for one of these, basically. I'd sell my kidney for one of these. I literally look like a dirty old man with my hair right now. Like, it's not standing up, it's kind of like, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. I either look like one of those nerds at school that you don't pay attention to, or I look like one of the emo um, guys that I fancied when I was like, 12. This piece right here, we're gonna call her fucking Linda. Oh my goodness, Linda's having a wild ride. The final brand I want to talk about is also an American-based brand and it's actually created by Sona here on YouTube and it's Persona Cosmetics. Now originally Persona came out with the identity palette and I literally, I, I feel really bad saying this, especially about indie brands especially and you know influencer-owned brands, but the palette, the identity one palette, not for me, honestly. But then they came out with, okay, the color theory eye kits that they have. The pink color theory eye kit, do I need it? Definitely not, uh, definitely not. But it comes with an eyeshadow palette, an eyeliner, and a blending brush. It's so pretty. The actual aesthetic of Persona is just so like sleek and beautiful and chic. And I'm not really like that. <laughs> so I just love the aesthetic of Persona. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna look at their bestsellers actually because also their lip glosses are really popular and their highlighters, the Zuma highlighter in particular, I'm really interested in that. But Persona's liquid lipsticks, I think I'd be the most interested in trying them out. But anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully my rambling was somewhat interesting to you. Let me know if there are any indie brands that you want to try out and um if any indie brands that you actually recommend to me because I want to try out as many indie brands as possible because I just want to support that. I love the type of makeup they make. They make makeup for people like me, the fucking goblins of the world. <laughs> That's not a very nice way to describe yourself, is it? I like it. Goblin. I'm a goblin. I'm a little makeup goblin. I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.